How do you get back, real quickly, three minutes? Make a choice to read God's word before email or online activities each morning. Remember this? You know, I didn't realize the, the camera back there, people really watch our services. I just got a, a Facebook post of a group of missionaries that were watching last Sunday night's Q&A, and I don't remember doing it, but I did something like this. And they all said that they're putting their Bible over their phones because they want to read the Bible before they check their tweets and pokes and bumps and whatever those things are. Make a choice to seek first Christ's word. And if you can't, if your hands shake and if your body's quivering and that haunter's licking you and your life energy is going out, you know you have a problem, okay? Number two, make a plan. Create an intentional place of solitude so you can not only read God's word but also avoid distractions. That's why I don't read and study the Bible on this. Why? Because all of the notifications come across. So-and-so just said this, and there's a thunderstorm coming, and the stock market just dropped 500 points, and, you know, and Russia just did this or that. I don't want to be distracted. That stuff can go on without it. It's the most vital part of every day to feed my soul. So make a choice, God before that, make a plan. Decide you'll start a new habit. Instead of instantly at every stoplight, you know, till they honk behind you and you go, oh, you know. Pray in the car. Remember when you used to do that? Meditate on a verse instead of listening to the radio or music or playing on your phone for 15 minutes a day. It can transform our car time into an altar of sacrifice. Many of us are all alone in the car except for that someone else is there, often sitting right next to us in the front seat. God is waiting for us to talk to him. And we're staring at our phones, amazing. Take the huge step, fast. I mean, skip a day of reading online news. Use all that amount, or newspapers, or your favorite magazines, or sites, you know. Don't pin anything for a whole day to prove you're not addicted to it. Can you make it a whole day? Can you put away your phone? Did you know at the Word of Life Bible Institutes, when I speak internationally, they have a box, and the kids all put their phones in on the way into class. And on the way out, they fish them out with all the germs spread all over everybody's phone from everybody else, and they get their phone back. And they aren't distracted. It's very interesting. And instead, memorize a verse or meditate on something. And here's the ultimate one. Finally, ask the Lord if he's able to give you enough of his grace for you to have a no television or a no video or a no gaming week or a month and see if you can study through an entire book of the Bible. Have you ever thought of that? The 10 hours a day that most people spend can you imagine what that could do for the kingdom? Unbelievable.